Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors. A off-grid knives ridgeback rendition, if you will. Hey, guys, before we get into it, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, that number's going down, but we got a lot of work to do. Anything above zero is too many. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. We back to blow over here. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So here's the deal, guys. I spent most of this week pulling knives out of my back, so I thought I would demonstrate one. For those of you who don't care for my stance on back in the blue, please go to the uh, end of the video. I'll put a timestamp here, and I'll address you there. Now, here's the deal, guys. This knife is super duper sharp. It's 14C, 28N, Sandvik. It is a Scandi grind. The blade length is 5.2 inches. Blade width is 1.5 inches. Blade thickness is 3.8 millimeters. It is a spear point. The handle is 4.5 inches long. It's that blue and black micarta. Absolutely damn gorgeous. Now, we spent a couple minutes right here just testing the initial sharpness. Now, here's the thing, guys. I've said this many, 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 many times. If you have a sharp knife, you are in the fight, and this damn thing is as sharp a knife as I've reviewed. It really, really is. Matter of fact, the vast majority of this video is nothing but cutting different mediums. I love the comfort of the handle. Now, I got to tell you this. This one come from my brother from another mother, Kirk. He, he's the guy who introduced me to off-grid. Awesome dude. He takes a Dremel, and he contours the handle to his hand. This is one of the most comfortable handles. And I mention that because here's the deal. If a handle's too big for you, if it's too whatever, you can always take a Dremel tool, especially with a micarta, and contour it to your hand. Now, I am a huge fan of off-grid knives. They support the shredder. We support the shredder knife reviews. Awesome, awesome folks. Off-grid also supports law enforcement. They're a great company. Make or They design some great knives. Now, here's the deal, guys, seriously. This is one of the damn sharpest knives I've ever reviewed. Comfortable in hand, no hot spots. Again, it's a contoured handle, so that's personal preference. It held up to literally every single thing we did, every demonstration. There, I've sold y'all a million times. There's not no, no tests. There's nothing scientific that we do. Here's that polypropylene rope. And really, guys, just pay attention in this video in particular to how many different mediums we cut, the different styles of material, different types of material. We do our typical woodwork, and you can see right there the slices that are just coming off. This thing is an absolute slicing machine. Now, let me say this. At the very end of the video, we're going to cut our paper, just like we do at the beginning. I walk in at the end, and I cut the paper. And I'm going to tell y'all, I was impressed. All right, we do a little hard use with the knife, not a ton, but we process up a good bit of wood. Outside of that, man, we just cut everything we could get our hands on. This was a fun knife to use, a fun knife to review. It's kind of got that old school look, that spear point look. I love the design of the knife. Very, very comfortable in hand. Has some great jimping on the back. All the way around, man, just a great, great knife. Really enjoyed this one. These are two different style water hoses. We got some rope, uh, zip ties, you name it. We cut it. It's badass. I love this knife. Now, here's the thing that's more impressive about any of it, okay? This particular knife, this is the second demonstration. I've already done one video, and somehow with my, my IT prowess, deleted it. I don't know what the hell I did. It's gone. I didn't do a thing to the knife. Nothing. Didn't strop it. Didn't nothing. Just jump back on another review. And I'm not talking about just re-narrated. I'm talking about I lost all my footage. So this knife has probably five or six different hours worth of work on it. Doing work. And it is impressive as hell. You see right here, it blasted right through these zip ties. Now, everybody knows I broke my Bam Bam stick. So we're going to make another one. We're going to take this time right here. Just take this log that's probably three inches in diameter and kind of shave us down, start a handle on it, and we'll use this throughout the next upcoming weeks, uh, shaving a handle on it, shortening it up. But again, guys, you can see the slices coming off this thing. Let's take this time real quick to do some shout-outs, please. I want to do a couple new ones, 
but I want to start with our staples first. Donnie B all day, going to 10,000. Let's get Donnie there. Go over and subscribe. Joe, Steel Force and Fire, Sword and Knife. Awesome, awesome dude. Go check him out. And then Blade Talk with Scav and Joe. That's my other channel. Now, guys, our vets raffle is going strong. I'll put a link in the description to the Blade Talk episode that gives you the rules. Please participate in that. We got about three grand worth of knives. It's worth it. No money comes to us. We're not affiliated. This is just you straight give. Send us a screenshot and put yourself into running for some great, great knives. Now, Eric Hussein, we're trying to get him to a thousand. That's a big mile marker with YouTube. Carl Ruger, same thing. And Eric and Carl are two community guys. They're great guys. So all of these folks, guys, I'm going to have links to in the description. Then we got a couple of new ones. Freedom Frog Gear. Frog Frog. I'm going to put a link in the description to his channel and KC Blade Trip. Now, Freedom Frog Gear and KC Blade Trip are two new guys. So they're under 100 subs, I believe. Let's change that. All my links will be in the description. Plus, I've got a community page full, full of folks for y'all to try out. And I appreciate that. Back to the knife. Now, guys, here's the deal. We did the John Peter stab test. We were able to stab two pieces of sidewall. That's about a quarter inch thick right there. No problem. A little quick push cut with the knife. Again, guys, one thing I was a little nervous about with the Scandi grind, with the thinner edge, is blade damage. None. Zero. It's got a Rockwell of 61. Very, very tough blade, very tough knife. I love that zero grind. Right here, you just see that two inch ratchet strap, that toe strap that is just blowing through. We're gonna check the tip right here, man. This is an awesome, awesome knife. Now, as far as the shout outs go, guys, listen, if you have a channel, if you're in this blade community, feel free to put a link in the, in, in the comments, man. We don't know if you don't do it, all right? And I'd love to support you. Right here, we're just gonna kind of scribe the stick, kind of a scribe and then do some stop cuts down, uh, do a little feather sticking, things like that, some finer work. This knife was hard to put down. It really, really, truly was. I love the sharpness, I love, it's just the whole aesthetic also. It is a bigger knife, it's got a four and a half inch handle, a five, a five plus inch blade. So you got about a nine, nine and a half inch blade right there, but it is a big knife inch and a half width on the blade. So it just gives you some real slicing capabilities. That jimping on the back is supremely comfortable. There's, there's guys who like jimping, guys who don't. Personally, I like a little jimping, especially if it's comfortable. This is very, very comfortable in hand. I'm going to tell y'all, the knife, was easy to manipulate, easy to control. Again, with a sharp knife, and this thing came sharp out of the damn box. This is the second demonstration, all right? No lack of sharpness here, none. I mean, it come out screaming sharp, and it stayed screaming sharp throughout the whole thing. And again, at the very end of the video, like we always try to do when it comes to slicers, we'll have that paper cut. Now, right here, we're just going to do a slight chop. That's probably going to be about the length of the Bam Bam stick, but I wanted just to chop a quick notch in here. Again, what we do with this is we check the edge, see if it holds up, all right? We're not going crazy. We're not slamming it up and down, but we also check the control. Does it land in the same place? Is it easy? That knife went and did everything I needed it to do. Right there, look. You can watch the chips flying or the slices coming, however you want to do it, man. Again, super sharp, super easy to control. Made a perfect uh, notch in this in this stump. And again, we'll chop it down. We'll make us a good bam bam stick out of it. My overall impressions of this knife was it is it it's insanely useful. Look at that, real quick, real fast. Now from this point on, we're going to do a good bit of batoning. We're going to baton. There's some pressure treated lumber there. There's some of that hardwood, firewood there. We're going to do a little bit of everything and then go back to slicing. And at, again, at the very end, we do our paper test. To me, it checks the edge. Was there any edge damage? No. 
Was there any chipping, any roll? No, no. And again, guys, very easy to control. The other thing is this, with the micarta handle scales, there's a little scab, old hands ball in there. Micarta handle scales, very comfortable. And it, it's just one of those knives, if you had to work with it all day, you could. It can handle a bunch of tasks, a multitude of tasks, and it just gets it done. Or zip tie test, nothing there. Overall, excellent knife. Excellent print fit and finish was great. Comfort and hands, great. Sharpness is out of this world. Edge retention, great. I love the knife. Off-Grid has impressed me from day one. They come up with some great designs, very high-functioning knives. This would make a good bushcrafting knife, camping knife, hunting knife, whatever you needed to do, a dick-around knife. Here's some of this old 12-gauge wire. We're going to chop it real quick, just test the edge one more time. And then here's the deal, guys. I was going to skin it back, and I did skin some wire with it. But I'm going to tell you all right now, that thing was getting hella bites even this late into the demonstration. It's, it stripped it good. And that comes back to my, you know, being a utility, underground utility locator at one point. You see right there, it strips it off, chops it, no edge damage, check it there. We're good to go. And again, here's some of that hardwood. We try, I tried to process up a ton of hardwood, ton of firewood, and then feather stick the last piece, make a feather log just to see how it would hold up. All right, held up great. I'm gonna do another review tomorrow of another kind of Nesmuk style knife, another uh, bushcrafting knife, and I'd like to compare these two, okay? I can tell you this, right out of the box, this one's gonna be hard to beat. It just is. That zero grind and, and everything is just perfect, excellent on the knife. Off grid, home run man, comfortable in hand. It comes with a Kydex sheath. Kirk likes that nylon strap carry, so it hangs pretty good, but it's it's comfortable. The, the, the Kydex sheath has a little branding on it. Just excellent overall presentation. And again, guys, right here, we're gonna do some feather sticking, walk in the house, and cut a piece of paper. Now, here's the deal. My causes are my causes. I don't say them to hear myself talk. Okay, now listen, I want everybody to understand, I don't need to hear about ignoring trolls and that, this is my channel, so I'm gonna address this right now. I keep getting this comment, well back to blue till it happens to you. Let me tell you, look at me real, real good. Do I look like an upstanding citizen to you? So your whole comment of back to blue before it happens to you, it's happened to me, son, more than it will ever happen to you in your life. The difference is, I don't whine and cry like a little punk bitch about it, okay? So here's what I'm gonna tell you. And again, I don't need to hear how to handle trolls. Here's what I here's what I need everybody to listen to. If you wanna leave, baby, go ahead and head out the door. One thing you got to remember is one monkey don't stop no show. This train gonna keep on rolling. You didn't know Scab could sing, but that's the way I'm feeling. Tell him it's stabbed in the back. This is a new day for Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors. We gonna do what we gonna do. We gonna have fun doing it. You want to be here great? You don't? Kick rocks. Love you. God knows I do. God bless you. I hope he does. I'm Scab. You're not. My boy Mikey hits it on the head. Everything's going to be all right. You can believe that, son. I'm gone.